with a half century of spaceflight experience already in hand, America's space program is now pushing ahead on parallel paths, revolutionary and complementary paths. On one, NASA is building a space launch system and Orion spacecraft to carry astronauts farther from Earth than we've ever gone before, to an asteroid and eventually to Mars. On the other path, NASA is leaning on American-based private companies to help supply our orbiting laboratory, the International Space Station. As the space shuttle era came to a close, NASA knew it needed help to supply the station with tons of cargo every year and looked to the private sector. How can we partner with industry? How can NASA be a partner with commercial energy and take advantage of the ingenuity and innovation that exists in American industry as well as the entrepreneurial spirit to develop these new capabilities just like any new product can be brought to market? The answer was the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program. Rather than NASA deciding on a spacecraft design down to the nuts and bolts, it made seed money available to private industry to develop their own cargo ships that could carry supplies to the space station, where human crews have been working for more than a dozen years. California-based SpaceX won its COTS agreement in 2006 its Dragon spacecraft successfully performed a test flight in May 2012 and completed its first fully operational mission late in the year. SpaceX flights continue each year, taking tons of supplies and science up to the station, and just as importantly, returning science experiments back to Earth for study. Now, Virginia-based Orbital Sciences Corporation, which won its COTS agreement in 2008, is about to join the club with its Cygnus spacecraft. After Orbital performs a Cygnus test flight to the station, it too will begin flying routine delivery flights to the orbiting complex. That will be the final milestone in uh, what we call the Commercial Orbital Transportation System Space Act Agreement that will allow us to transition from that phase of the program into an actual contract with NASA to deliver cargo over eight missions in about four years to the International Space Station. Cygnus rides to orbit on the Antares, a two-stage launch vehicle designed to provide reliable access to low Earth orbit for payloads of more than 5,000 kilograms. Its design incorporates components from leading global suppliers and uses subsystems that are already deployed successfully on Orbital's other rockets, the Pegasus, Taurus, and Minotaur launch vehicles that have been flying for years. But Antares will serve a much broader market than, uh, than uh, just the space station logistics uh, functions. It will also be used by uh, civil and national security customers in the governmental market as well as commercial uh, satellite operators. The Cygnus Advanced Maneuvering Spacecraft, consisting of a service module and a pressurized cargo module, also incorporates elements from flight-proven systems flown by Orbital and its partners. The service module avionics systems are from Orbital's LEOSTAR and GEOSTAR satellite lines the propulsion and solar power systems from the Geostar communication satellites. The pressurized cargo module is based on the multi-purpose logistics module by Thales Alenia Space, which built the cargo modules that carried supplies to the station 11 times riding in the payload bay of the space shuttles. With a pressurized volume of nearly 19 cubic meters, Cygnus can deliver a total cargo mass of 2,000 kilograms. Without the ability to take cargo, you won't be able to keep the station operating as a viable research platform or even keep the crew there uh, and keep them fed and clothed and all the things that anybody on an outpost would need. And that's really where they are is on an outpost. So having that lifeline to Earth is very, very important. Orbital will launch the Antares rocket and Cygnus cargo craft from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia thus opening a new commercial spaceport and strengthening the American commercial launch industry's role in the new future of spaceflight. As SpaceX and Orbital ramp up their supply flights, the International Space Station will continue to serve as our home in space and the site of the scientific discoveries that will allow humankind to venture beyond low Earth orbit, 
to explore farther from Earth than we've ever been before.